last week's rule of the week was an elevated guideway. And the Savannah College of Arts and Design came to me and they, they wanted to do a modified version of this guideway for a project that they're working on. And it was different than what we had a little bit. It needed to be higher, around 39 feet and around 30 feet wide. But the kind of key difference was the way we treated the top of the guideway and the bottom of the guideway. So in this case, the elevated guideway was topped with a park. So I modified the existing guideway, pulled out the tracks from the top, and made this rule that creates a park space on it. And I just did that by importing the park rule from the Redlands example, um, taking out all the splits that made the, the rails, and dropping that park rule in and into the top of this guideway. So I can select all these segments here interactively, and I've got all the options from the park rule, so I'm going to turn these into formal parks so they have walking paths and I can add features to them so I'm going to add people walking around I'll, I'll add some hedges and um, increase the uh, amount of trees that I have here so that I've actually got some trees planted uh, across the whole area and I'm going to grab the the curve segment and I'll just go ahead and and drop some some people on the curve segment so that's how, what I did for the top what I did for the bottom was I took the all the splits that were used in the ori original elevated guideway and called them on the bottom so that I would have these two tracks on the bottom and then could uh, have a suspended train underneath them, which is what they were interested in. So take a look at it. Uh, it's kind of a cool little example of modifying a rule and importing a rule.